Welcome back, YouTube, to It's Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from It's Complicated. Uh, it's the channel that a um, great guy goes to Vegas, asks a lot of women just questions that they've never been asked before, and they fumble around a lot. So um, please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, let's get to the chow. It's chow time. We want equality with equal pay. I'm not trying to get beat my ass beat. I want equal pay because it's like, why am I going to college? I'm getting A's and B's and this nigga got C's. All right, and he's let me, let me, more let money me, than me. Let me ask this. Let me ask this. this. Would you rather... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold on, hold on. Mm. Patriarchy! What's one thing that you wish men understood better about women? Where the clit is. Just that we're all different. I gotta admit, men, if you don't know where it is... That's a problem in itself. <laughs> different. And that it's, you know, we all have different needs. We all have different wants. And that it's not one size fits all. Okay. If all women are so different, why do we use the expression, know how to treat a woman? Wouldn't that imply that there's like a universal nature that all women exhibit? Ooh. That would, but like, what a bullshit thing to say. <laughs> so you don't, you don't agree with know how to treat a woman? You don't think that that's a valid statement? Absolutely. So not. how shouldn't a man treat a woman? Um, I don't think it's a universal <laughs> statement. I think that if you're in a relationship with a woman that you that you un I don't get how it's not a universal statement. The basics of everything is still the same. It's just each individual person is slightly different. That still makes it I mean, everybody wants love, everybody wants very similar things. It's very just the niche things that makes it different. So under yeah, that you understand that... Well, let me ask this. Why do you think a lot of guys have a hard time finding a clitoris if it's always in the same place? Because they're stupid. Um, it's it's not that hard to find. They don't know how to touch it, please it. They're scared of the shit. They're scared of it. They've been looking at it like... What is that? <laughs> yeah, like shame, insult, guilt. All these women love to do. I'm gonna go down. You want me to lick it? Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> there are needs and wants, and that you... <laughs> Hi. I have a question. I okay. have a question. Can you consent real quick? Just uh, you consent to being filmed. I just need you to. Hi, consent. I'm Nicole. I'm consenting to this interview. Go ahead, ask your question. I have a yeah. question for you. Please go ahead. Nick. What do you mean by that question of how does a woman act? Well, um, basically, I'm saying. Uh, well, I'm trying to challenge the idea. This fucking Karen came in, stole the mic, and started interviewing our man here. Like the audacity of some of these people. Idea that maybe there's like a, a general idea that a lot of women want to be treated a certain way and that's why they have that expression know how to treat a woman but, but do you believe in heterosexual relationships i believe in in yeah all different types of relationships even same-sex <laughs> ones of course all, all different types but yeah um let me let me let me ask you this it, do you think generalizing is okay to do in relationships it's okay do to you? generalize. well if if um if it wasn't why would anyone ever bother giving relationship advice don't you have to have like certain, look for certain patterns to know how to like... Oh. Is that why you're asking? Yeah. To look for a different pattern? Well, in other words, I'm saying like, if you couldn't generalize about men and women in relationships, why would there be... You couldn't generalize in... If, if, you couldn't, if you couldn't generalize about what men and women want in relationships, obviously there's exceptions, right? But if, there, if you weren't like general things that like men and women look for, why would there be best-selling books called Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus, which generalize? Or people ask about somebody's zodiac sign, which generalizes, right? Like <laughs> he brought it up. He brought it up. Astrology. You know, the, them Libras and uh, Sagittarius, especially those Tauruses. You say Scorpios act like this and Geminis act like this. Is that not generalizing? Is there a problem with generalizing? No, no, no. I'm... <laughs> She was the one that brought up the whole generalizing issue in the first place. <laughs> I'm, 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 I don't think there's a problem with generalizing. I'm asking you if you think that there's a problem with generalizing. Hmm. Do you think generalizing is okay? Do you? Well, well I mean... If you, if you... <laughs> when they have nothing to say or no answer, they just repeat the question or ask it right back at you, right? If you want to interview me, I'm just asking these questions. Well, I think the, the questions are so vague in that there's so many sanctions of relationship in the world that you're asking a crowd that is heterosexual, and it just like... Well, I'll give you an example, okay? 
this is very, it's just like uh, that panel. We just happen to be heterosexual white blonde women, you know, like, and it's just like, no, you're you're just women. By the generalization of what we're talking about, you're just women. I acknowledge that there's exceptions. Like, for example, there are some women who will date short guys, but don't most women have a preference for a guy who's taller no. than them? No, disagree. So you don't I don't think there's such a thing as most or, you know, you can't say most people want this. Like a lot of women are attracted to confidence. A lot of people say that. I, I confidence is different than height. Okay, but is that not generalizing? People generally no. want, but people generally Just, want confidence, right? I think need to be right, man. Need to be right, right? She said, no. I think, that a, I think that a woman can, could. Well, just people in general like confidence, right? I'm a woman, interested in men. So okay. I can only speak to that. Sure. I think that it is generalizing to say before I'm in the in, in a relationship or dating that I could say, yes, I'm into tall men. Okay. And then I meet someone shorter than me and I fall in love and that generalization cancels out. I didn't say In your made up story that you found someone shorter than you and you fell in love. Yes. But he didn't say everyone, right? Like, come on now. That there aren't exceptions. I said okay, there's exceptions. So then, but I'm saying. So but the I, conversation is irrelevant. Well, well, the exception. We can't that, talk about generalizations until we're in this situation, and the generalization and it, uh, it cancels out. But, but, but at the same time. So it's not fair to put on camera and to hold me to a word of generalization until. Well, uh, this word salad just going around circles and circles right here just to prove nothing. There are exceptions. And I can say that women prefer tall men until they meet someone short and they All fall I'm in saying, love, and I, that's okay. I acknowledge that. What I oh, you can say it until they meet someone that's not tall, then you can't say it anymore? No, it's a generalization. They would have preferred someone taller. It doesn't matter. They met someone shorter and they like them. They just prefer someone taller. What I'm saying is, does the exception make the rule? No. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying just because <laughs> some women them. might prefer a short man doesn't mean that most women don't have a preference for taller men. Well, that's statistics that are outside of my ability to talk to. No, I'm asking. I'm just asking your opinions. No. Like, like I said, yeah. I'm not willing to put my opinion on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm consenting this interview. Which do men enjoy more, the chase or the catch? The chase. Isn't the catch the man's goal and the chase the woman's goal? Yeah, but if you keep chasing that, then they won't want anyone else if they're still chasing that one girl. Okay. Don't women, women. don't women want to be chased though? Yes, for okay, sure. So the chase is not the woman's goal. The chase is the woman's goal. I would say. I would say I do try to make the guy chase a little more. Has there ever been a guy you wanted that you weren't able to get? Nope. Fucking liars, man. Liars. So why do women complain about men when women are the ones choosing the shitty men? That's a good point. That is a good point. I've dated a lot I've... of shitty men. <laughs> I've talked to shitty men. I haven't dated them. I have. Yeah, it's probably because you haven't dated and only you've been fucking just riding the carousel. Is it want what they can't have? No. Depends. Has there ever been a man you wanted that you weren't able to get? Yes. No, me. No, she For at least me, admitted the truth. There's not a man. Everybody wants me. It's usually the man that wants me not to be cocky or anything. Not to be cocky or anything. Sure, Miss Ten. But it's never me trying to go for a man that I don't want. So is it typically true that women want what they can't have? Yes. So then would you agree that chasing women is terrible advice for men? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Terrible advice. Right. Yeah. So then how is... How is a man supposed to get a woman then without chasing her? You have to have game. You have to make her want you without her knowing that you want her. Okay, so like what advice would you have for men? How can he do that? <laughs> All right, guys, let's listen to this. Let's see how we can do this. Um, you know, you have, to, you, have to, you have to come at her and buy us dinner. Take us out. All you gotta do is just buy them dinner and take them out. <laughs> oh, show us what you're about. And they wonder why red pill does exist. Is like, listen to what these women tell us. Like, it's ridiculously wrong. You know, and make it worth our while, and then we'll we'll come on to you. Right, but I mean, how how will that lead to uh, like a romantic relationship as opposed to just being friend zoned? Because once we see what you can do, then we like you. 
Ah, uh, bullshit. Well, I mean, are there certain, like, boxes that the man has to check off before he goes from friend zone to actually, you know, the hookup zone, the end zone? Well, my box is provider, style. Other than that, you know, it's kind of open. Has there ever been a... So he makes a lot of money and looks good. And that's what that would translations, man. Guy you wanted that you weren't able to get. Fuck no. So why do women complain? So someone's uh, aggressive. About men when women are the ones choosing the shitty men. Well, the men are not literally. So I'm gonna put it like this: men, they'll date you correct. Can never answer the question directly. Always have to give you some kind of backstory, some kind of. Correct, but then when you also get uncomfortable. That's when they show that they're not shit. And then that's when it comes on to the woman's part of leaving the motherfucker. Because if they're not shit, then you need to fucking leave them. But the first, men should be shit in the first place. Because why are you putting on a whole persona just to be not shit in the first place? Like, you can't do all that. If women are smarter than men, why Which do they, they keep, are. If women are smarter than men, why do they keep believing men's lies and opening up their legs? <laughs> because it's called <laughs> manipulation. It's not opening up their legs. If I'm hearing something from man and I'm like, okay, why? First of all, why would you lie to me in the first place? If you're a liar, why are you doing it? It doesn't fall onto the woman; it falls onto the man. Because what are you lying for? See, there's the fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Saying, you know, like, yeah, you can get fooled once. Yeah, might not be your fault, but if you keep on getting fooled continuously, hmm. Is it true women typically want what they can't have? Um, no. Women can get whatever they want because men are easy. They said that women are sluts. The men are sluts because it's a little, oh, you're nice, your little haircut, your edge looks good, your drawers are off. I mean, I admit men are sluts because if you give any naked woman in front of a man, he would have to have it. But we just don't have that sexual access like women do. Why do so many women need to be right, even if they're wrong? Who says women need to be right? <laughs> just, just the way she reacted right there said it. <laughs> Who needs to be right? right? Who says that we need to be right? Uh, your attitude. <laughs> well, how many women are willing to concede in an argument? I will. If I'm wrong, I'm going to tell you I'm wrong. I will oh, too. Shit, my bad. I, I'm, I apologize. I was wrong. Yeah. I, I read it wrong. Especially if I, I care. looked at the picture wrong. Yeah. I look All right, guys. Note. Look at them nails. Yeah. I thought the message wrong. It wasn't you, boo. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, do you think that? Uh... Yeah, she, she was a pretty good actor, actress on that part right there. I'm sorry. Who do you think is more likely to admit when they're wrong, men or women? Um, men will take it to the men will take it to the fucking grave. They will for deny, 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 deny. deny, deny. deny. Well, then, then why? Women... Why do we have the expression "being the bigger man"? That's not all the way true. <laughs> yeah, it isn't. You could be the bigger vagina, a bigger bitch, bigger pussy. I don't think you want to be the bigger vagina. Uh, I don't think anybody wants that. Yeah. Well, then why don't we have that expression? <laughs> bigger click. <laughs> You're big. Ew. Why do women often tell themselves to never settle? Oh, because we do so much work. Like, once you get into a relationship, we're going to be constantly doing all the work. So if you settle from the beginning, you're going to just be miserable. You're going to be is, settled. Is, is the man not doing a lot of work by being a provider? No, not necessarily. Well, what, what? Yeah, see, man? They see us as being a provider, as not even doing work. So we toil for 60 hours a week with that overtime making that bread come home they just think we're just fooling around all day what's all the work that the women are talking about doing well we're kind of like our men's manager like we make sure you're up on time we make sure you're doing things right we i don't think anybody I need anybody to wake me up and make sure i'm doing the things i need to be doing i've been doing that shit this whole time <laughs> make sure you look presentable we we're like you're but i mean if a man wasn't capable of doing how would they get you in the first place if they didn't look presentable or didn't know how to make themselves look presentable the things that these women say are so dumb <laughs> like how would i've gotten you in the first place if i didn't look presentable come on now doing all that stuff himself would the woman even find him attractive in the first exactly. place exactly no 
Well, we don't know that at first. We don't know that. Well, I mean, until... obviously, I mean, a man has to be able to take care of himself in order to have the status and the, the physique and, you know, all the discipline that, you know, women would find attractive yes. to begin with, right? Yes, but that level is meant what men require and what we bring to the table is on two different levels. What we what we want and what we what we bring. What does a woman bring to the table? <laughs> like like I said, we're like the manager. We put you in position so you can be better. A lot of women really think the whole uh, every great man, there's a great woman thing. No. These great men would have been great men without these women. Majority of them. Maybe some of them were very key factors into the success of these men. But most of these men had the drive, the will to become successful in the first place. Even if it was whoever it is. It could be almost any woman and they would have still been successful. Have you ever considered the possibility you might end up a lonely old cat lady? Ooh. I have. I think about it every day. It's so hard to get someone who understands you and... Why are the women who say they won't settle okay with settling for living and dying alone with a dozen cats? <laughs> because during all their life they think they deserve better, they deserve better, and the years pass and then they end up being alone. Because you'll have peace. <laughs> peace your peace of mind is priceless. Well, yeah, but why would women who can't have everything choose to settle for nothing? Because that's not nothing. Like, you have yourself. Like, sometimes if you get the wrong man, it just chips away at you, and you'd be like, I'll just rather deal with my cats than to be doing all this work. Is it true women typically want what they can't have? Yes. So would you agree that chasing women is terrible advice? For that was totally the opposite of what she said earlier, or the one that's holding the mic. Men. All, do, all men do is chase women. No. The, the boyfriend I have, I chased him, and I still chase him to this day because he's not shit. Don't, don't, don't women... <laughs> Contradicted don't women her again. Up, don't women end up working for a man's attention if he's the high-value man she says she wants? There's no high-value men out here for real. There's no high-value man? No, there are some high-value men, but they're not a lot. That's the thing. Women are the prize. That's what the people get it f***ed up. Well, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. If, <laughs> if, if high-value men are rare, why wouldn't the high-value man be the prize? They're not the price, because what, what was there a There's price less of them to go around. The man? They're more rare. Yeah, where are they? I, I've been searching. Well, that's, that's, that's what, what that's he's trying to prize. say. A diamond, is, a, a diamond is a prize because no, it's rare. No, no, the women are the price because women, they got a pussy. You know what I mean? Pussy makes the world go. That's it, guys. That's because they think they got the pussy. They make the world go round. Right? Dude, as soon as they make artificial sex toys... One, it's going to be bad for society because men are going to even be more freaking, you know, sedated. But two, yeah, we're not going to need women. Women will always need men. Always. Why? Because everything is ran by men. You know, so go around a man so, got a dick so a so a woman no, so wait wait, wait. Pussy makes the whole entire world go around okay if all the men in the world were gay how would pussy have power i really hope they were because at this point <laughs> what the f is going on no women still have the power either way because so you just i need to be right wants to shame and insult like this chick is like the, the poster child of uh the modern feminist movement we're a woman you know what i mean a man is a man but a woman is a woman i thought women wanted equality do women want oh, a man is a man and a woman is a woman now hmm i wonder how she feels about the transgender people people are special we want equality with equal pay i'm not trying to get beat my ass beat i want equal pay because it's like why am i going to college i'm getting a's and b's and this nigga got c's all right let me, let me, let, me, me. let me ask this let me yeah, ask this, this. this would you Someone making, getting A's and someone getting C's with the same degree does not make you make more money than them. That's not how it works, lady. Would you rather, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 hold, hold on, hold on, wait. Okay, hold on, hold on. Would you rather have a high profile job for no pay or clean sewers for $100,000 a year? I would clean sewers if it's more money. Okay. Do you think most women would choose to do that? Um, I don't know what, what, what most women choose, but I'm talking about me. Okay, no, I get that, but I'm saying I've interviewed hundreds of women and most women actually would not choose the dangerous, dirty job. Is that possibly why a lot of women get paid less? 
<laughs> well, if you're not willing to put in the work to get money, then that's on your that's all that's your fault. Do you think yep, most women that's want how to men do feel? Jobs it's most not most. Well, it's not. Well, sometimes I'm why not gonna we, lie. Why I'm not we, taking trash out. Well, why, why, well, why do we why do we have the expression that's a man's job? Because certain things are a man's job. Because it's like, why gotta take the trash out if there's a man in the house? Right. So I'm or just saying. Lift heavy. If there's a man in the house, it's called fucking cleaning your house bitch what the fuck things well right but it says when i'm talking about equal rights i want equal pay i want equality i'm not trying to get i want to walk through some and feel safe that's what i want but to do you, but, 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 but i'm saying so do men but i'm saying but i'm saying but i'm saying is it fair to, is it fair to say if you want equal privileges you need equal responsibilities no i want why is responsibilities with equality because you gotta I'm take trying to get equal pay. <laughs> because you gotta take the it's called Great power comes with great responsibility. You watch Spider Man. You know the freaking saying. Come on. Bad with all the good. extra shit. If I can't just, why can't I just have equal pay? Don't you have to take the bad with the good? No, you do not. We just have equality. Period. You see what yep. I mean? This is what women want. Just the good of everything and uh, not true equality. You know I mean? So you want equality only when it benefits you? Um, no, I want equality. Period. Because if why? Why do we have equality? It should be benefiting women. Because at the end of the day, equality should be benefiting women. I think she needs to go uh, look up the definition. Men have more privilege than, than women do. Oh, it's just like that shit. That first of all, a man can walk the streets without fi without feeling safe. So yesterday, I'm trying to go to a god. I can walk the streets without feeling safe. You are correct. I do walk the streets without feeling safe damn Walgreens and I'm getting catcalled I'm getting called a bitch my shoe got taken from me yesterday all because I'm from a man all because I'm a woman a man can walk the street and they can feel safe if I'm out here past a good 1 2 p.m. I'm scared and I'm gonna go home are you aware that the well I'm out here past 1 or 2 p.m. then I can't go home but you just like the scenario you put for men was just walking on the street normally and you can do it fine but for yourself you s specify a time at night that is dangerous the argument is not equal statistically men are the highest victims of violent crime the, where statistically look it where up where is this at the fbi show, uh, show me the fbi show statistics. me i want to see it okay I'll show i don't you. believe that i'll show you i'll show you sure. i want to see it i mean i agree with you women are the victims of vi of a sexual crime but men are the victims of violent crime but it's still crime period and it's well no i know that why are we, why am i gonna yeah it's crime period so men still suffer more crime if you're just talking about crime period lady we are just running i'm be like oh i'm i might get that's f***ed up super f up, I, I think it, I, I think it's f***ed up too i think it's f***ed up too period yeah, that was that child. I know that some of these girls are quite annoying, but it's it's uh, to me it's it's nice to see women making fool of themselves and just how their their thought process is. Like his questions are so well thought out and well lined up. It, it trips these women because they've never even thought about some of these issues. All they were doing are just spewing the narrative. So. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. It's chow time.